Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're going to be looking at a genre of blades that we're calling executive knives. And you can find them at KnifeCenter.com. Characterized by narrow handles and long slender blades, these fancier knives are more refined than the typical broad bladed frame locks that we've gotten used to these days. Nice and elegant, they'd fit right in when dressed in a suit or office attire and are just what you need to create the right impression. But they're more than just good looking, they're ready to throw down as well. One could even argue that these blade shapes are more useful. They have more in common with old school slip joints than anything else, and their precision and ability to execute fine cuts in tight places are what has made these shapes useful for generations. The first is the titanium framed Boker Plus Urban Trapper, a flipper designed by Brad Zinker, who has been making this style of knife for years. Like its namesake, the classic trapper slip joint pattern, the blade on the Urban Trapper is a long, narrow clip point. The materials are quite nice. VG10 steel ensures plenty of edge retention, and although you can get it without any overlays, which keeps the profile very thin, the versions with wood, G10, or carbon fiber feel and look even nicer. The best part about the Urban Trapper, and indeed all of the knives that we'll see here, it carries nice and unobtrusive in the pocket. It barely takes up more room than a nice ink pen, and a nice deep carry clip helps it go unnoticed until you really need it. Next up is the CRKT Crossbones, a design by Jeff Park. This starts with a distinctive two-tone aluminum handle design. A brushed satin finish shape sits higher and follows the lines of the frame, while the lowered section is anodized gray and features a diamond checkered texture, giving this knife plenty of grip. It sits in the hand quite nicely and makes the knife a pleasure to use. The upswept blade is exquisite, and its flat grind and OS8 steel make it a pure slicer, especially on longer cuts. Keeping it in place is an inset liner lock that is as solid as it is easy to operate, and completing the package is another deep carry pocket clip. Moving on, we come to the Real Steel Metamorph series. There are actually two tiers, the first being the G5 Metamorph. This is a front flipper design with a more deliberate opening action and it comes equipped with anodized aluminum handles. A few different colors are available, but I especially like the intense blue color. We see a few similarities here to the crossbones, at least when it comes to the construction. The milled aluminum scales also feature a deep carry clip and inset liner lock. It even goes a couple steps further with a semi-floating backspacer and a lanyard attachment point integrated into the spine. The handles also feel great. We see a nice concave section running the length of the handle, and it indexes very well, especially in a pinch grip. Add in fine-grained Swedish 14C28N steel, and the design is a winner. Stepping up the ladder, we see the S5 Metamorph. It trades the aluminum duds for titanium, upgrades to S35VN blade steel, and it also adds a traditional flipper for even easier deployment. All these knives so far featured blades that sit at or near the 3.5 inch mark, so let's check out a couple of smaller options. First is the American-built Benchmade 485 Valet. It isn't quite as fancy as some of these other knives we've just looked at, but the smooth gray G10 handles offer just enough class that the knife won't look out of place whenever you carry it. The really nice thing with the Valet is the efficiency in packaging. It has a 3-inch blade and just enough handle to keep it concealed when folded up. Moreover, we get truly premium steel with Bowler's fantastic M390. We also get a reversible deep carry clip and Benchmade signature axis lock which makes the Valet one of the best options out there for a fully ambidextrous gentleman's knife. Another example is the Artisan Cutlery Shark. Although you can get this knife with a 4-inch blade, we think the 3.15-inch version hits the sweet spot. The nicer variants in this series are full titanium frame locks with snappy bearing-equipped flippers. The blade itself features a nice continuous curve along the edge, and it's made from S35VN steel with a stonewashed finish, which will help scratches to blend in when you actually use it. We don't get a deep carry clip with this design, instead it's made from milled titanium, adding an extra touch of elegance. The real standout though is the large carbon fiber inlay on the presentation side. This dignified feature looks great and is fully contoured with the handle for a very comfortable grip. Of course if you still want a big bad executive style blade, you can check out the 4 inch version of the Shark, or better yet, the Wii Knives 618 series. Wii has been killing it lately, offering world-class materials and fit and finish for a lot less money than you would think, and the 618 is no exception. This is about as good as it gets on a production piece. This knife has a ton of reach with a 4-inch M390 blade riding on ceramic bearings. It doesn't have a flipper, only a single thumb stud, but it's still very easy to pop the blade open with very little effort, and it's held in place by a sturdy frame lock. 
The nicest part though is the titanium frame. Ergonomically contoured, it features fine grooves for extra grip and style. The two halves fit together without the need for a backspacer, making for a smooth spine, which also includes a hidden lanyard hole. The milled pocket clip even features grooves that match the handle pattern. This is truly a statement piece that has the performance to back up its good looks. Of course, production companies aren't the only ones serving up this style of knives. There are a number of custom makers that are putting out excellent interpretations of the executive knife, including the aforementioned Brad Zinker as well as Michael Zeba whose MS3 flipper has become a favorite of many of us here at the Knife Center, myself included. As the saying goes, everything old is new again, and we're thrilled to see these classic profiles thriving today with a modern twist. If you like what you've seen here and want to get your hands on one, click the link in the description below to head over to KnifeCenter.com, and be sure to sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date on all the deals we're running on the best knives and tools on the web.